In this video, I'm going to add enhanced autopilot to my 18 month old Tesla Model Y. Or well, this is just a waste of money doing this in the UK. So I'm filming this because I'm intrigued. When you add a major update like enhanced autopilot to an existing car, is it just going to switch it on in the software? Or is it going to do an over the air update to then add it? I've got some Tesla referral credits to use. And if I go into my account here, and then go to my wallet. You can see I've got £3,440 of credits, but £1,940 of it expires in a few months' time. So it's a case of use it or lose it. So I've been on the Tesla website wondering what to spend these credits on. And because my car has got free lifetime supercharging, because it was transferred over from my previous Tesla Model S, I can't use it on supercharging. So I was going through the shop and I was considering getting the winter tyre package. And that's a set of winter tyres and another set of aloe wheels. But to be honest, in the south, we don't really need winter tyres. In this last winter, I would say we probably only had a week, maybe 14 days at most, where the weather was below 7 degrees. So my preference really is a set of all-season tyres rather than a set of dedicated winter tyres. But as I had the £1,900 worth of credits, which were going to expire in September, that's what I thought. I might as well just get the winter tyre package. However, fortunately, someone has just used my referral code and I've just received another £250 referral credits this week, which has brought the total to enough to buy enhanced autopilot. So that's what I'm going to do now with these referral credits is to purchase the enhanced autopilot for this car, because I think long term, that's the wisest use of those credits. In the UK and Europe, the laws don't allow Tesla to release the full functionality of autopilot and full self-driving, but that will change at some point in the future. And I think buying enhanced autopilot now for this car gets me halfway to full self-driving. And I think in the long term, I'll get the most benefit from that. I intend to keep this car for a very long time because I've got the free lifetime supercharging on it. It costs me absolutely nothing to run. So I'm sure one day I'll end up with full self-driving on it, even though this is a hardware three car and it might never have unsupervised full self-driving. I'm sure one day when the laws allow it, I'll end up with supervised full self-driving on this car. Or maybe even one day I'll end up doing a hardware upgrade and upgrading it to hardware four. So I want to say a massive thank you to everyone that's used my referral code when buying a Tesla. They've got money off their new car, or if it's leased, money in their account to spend at Tesla. And then they can do the same and refer others once they have their Tesla. And then I use the credits to get accessories or add-ons for this vehicle and make videos to share the knowledge. So now let's use the Tesla app and purchase Enhanced Autopilot, which to be honest is making me a little bit nervous because it's a lot of money and I know it's not my money, but one wrong click and I could end up putting this on my credit card. So in the app, we can go down to upgrades and then software upgrades and then buy. And there it is, enhanced autopilot, £3,400. So let's say add and then go to checkout. Here I've just got to add a bit more personal information. Unfortunately, the checkout is defaulting to use the referral credits. So balance due is zero, so I can just say place order. So that's now done and it's come up on the screen. Autopilot has been upgraded. Enable new features in autopilot settings. So it looks like it was all there. No, it's doing a reboot. And I did just turn the camera off there thinking that was going to take a long time, but that only took about six seconds. So that's rebooted. So if I now go to software and additional information, is it going to show anything any different? It's not there yet. But here it says enhanced autopilot. So that has changed and we've now got enhanced autopilot enabled in the car without doing an over the air update. So clearly all the software was sitting here in the background. And if I now look in my app and go to upgrades and software upgrades, 
and then to buy, all I've got now is full self-driving for an additional £3,400. So hopefully in the future I can enable that and even better if I can use some future referral credits for it. So in the car, if I go to autopilot, we can see what we've got here. I want it on double pull. I much prefer double pull rather than single pull. Uh, current speed. Actual smart summon. I want to enable that. I'm just going to have a quick read of this. One thing to note, though, is someone will drain your battery when the car's parked for a long period of time. So if you're going on holiday, leaving the car at an airport or got the car parked up for a long time, you might want to disable this like you might want to disable sentry mode. So now we've got these new smart summon controls and uh, in here we've got standby mode so we can disable it when we're at home, work or any favourites just like sentry mode so you don't have it enabled where your car is parked in the commonly parked up places. And then the rest of it, I think, all looks the same. So there we go. That's all I'm going to do on this video. It's just to show how I've purchased it and activated it in case anyone was uh, wondering how that works. And then the actual functionality of Enhanced Autopilot I'll do on other videos. So I'm going to go out and have a play now. I'm going to go on the dual camera array and try auto lane change and maybe go in a car park and try the auto parking and also the summon. So uh, that will all be coming up in future videos. So if you found this one useful or interesting, please do click the thumbs up. That really does help. If you want to know more about the Tesla Model Y, in the video description below will be a link to a playlist where you can see other videos I've made. And uh, also, if you're thinking about buying a Tesla, there'll also be a link to the referral code where you'll get money off your new car. Okay, I'll see you on the next one.